Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so glad to be bringing God's truth to you. Let's pray. Father, thank you for your amazing truth. How we love your word, Lord. How we love the wisdom that flows from you. It takes out burdens. It breaks yokes. And that's exactly what's happening today to everyone watching and listening to me right now. Your glorious power is at work even now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And we bless your name for this. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. I was sharing something with you yesterday about Saul and Samuel. See? I was telling you about situational prophecies. There are certain prophecies that the situation warrants it. In other words, like the children of Israel asked God for a king. And God specifically chose Sam, Saul to be their king. They were not the ones that brought Saul to God. God chose Saul. See, and now I say situational prophecies always come with an instruction. If you keep the instruction, it will be well. The prophecy will be fulfilled. If you don't keep the instruction, then sorry, it ends with you. So now you see what happened in, in what we read yesterday. Samuel had told Saul, the moment you become king, seven days, gather the people for seven days and we'll offer some sacrifices. And then I will now instruct you on what you will do as a king. Now, sometimes we are so glad to hear the dust say at the Lord. God does say at the Lord, it shall be well with you. We shout, Amen. This week you're going to have an amazing Amen. And then we forget that instructions are given alongside with it. Now, let me tell you this truth. You know, I was sharing uh, with some brethren in a prayer meeting recently, and I was telling them, I said, look, we walk with God in two ways. See, David said, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. So, the Lord shows us the light. Now, what does the light do? The light shows you the direction you're going to. See? So, God, that, that, has, that comes by prophecies. So, God tells you, hey, you're going to be this, or you're going to go to so and so place. That is a light He's shining on your path. So, now you can see the direction that you're going. So, that's what it means when He says, thy word is a light unto my path. And then, how does the word become a lamp unto your feet? Now, those are the specific detailed instructions that the Lord begins to give you. For example, you wake up in the morning and say, Lord, what would you have me do today? He says, go here and go see this person, make this phone call or go visit this person. Now, that is a lamp, the word being your lamp. Now, you must learn to carry this too. Especially, I'll share with this, I'll share with this, this um, brethren, uh, about this, I say, especially make sure you carry the lamp. In fact, the lamp is the most important. If you, if you want to choose between taking the lamp and the light, I'll tell you, go for the lamp. You know why? You will never miss your way with the lamp. So I was sharing with them, like, you know, sometimes God tells you things about the future. You may write it down. You may think, oh, I will never forget this kind of prophecy. But it happens that you forget. Several years down the line, you know. And then you, but you see, when you follow the Lord, the fact that the Lord have told you you will go to so and so place doesn't mean you start running there. You still have to wait for him to lead you with the lamp until you get to the door of that place. That's how it works. If you want to be complete by the time you get there, because sometimes God will tell you about what you're going to be. And then you now start struggling to get there. You eventually get there, but then you get there with several bruises. You know why? Because there are parts you took that you had no business taking in the first place. So God tells you, oh, in three years' time, so-so thing is going to happen. And you're going to do this. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. It gives you hope. It gives you confidence. See? So you have something to look for. That's the purpose of the light. You have something to look for. Oh, I see where I'm going to now, see? So, but then somehow you forget. Not us. You are not waking up every day, Father, you said. 
You said I would do this. You said I would go this. You said I would. There are some things God tells you, just keep it to heart like Mary did. She said she kept those things in her heart. Because you don't even understand what role you're supposed to play in it. But God has spoken. All right. So when the time comes, see, because you are trusting his word as a lamp, so you always, and I was telling, I was telling this brother, I said, look, the, the, the benefit I have, and that's why it, it looks like things just keep happening, you know, prophecies just keep getting fulfilled. The benefit I have is I have learned to walk with the word as a lamp to my feet. Now, how do you do that? You always depend on God to show you what to do next. Every detail you wait on him. See? So now he begins to tell you, okay, Today, go to the so and so place. Oh, go and see this person. Or he brings someone into your life. And you're wondering, well, what, 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 what am I supposed to do in this person's life? And then he tells you, oh, do, you know, so fine. We're walking with God like that. Now, when you walk with the Lord like that, even if you forget the prophecy that he gave to you, even if you forget it, he is still the one that is going to lead you day by day into the things that will cause that prophecy to come to pass. Because he who has spoken is not forgetful of what he has said like you do. See? So every step he guides you in is in fulfillment of that prophecy. That's why I've always told you this. When you pray, God is not the day you see the manifestation that God answered. The moment you set your heart to pray, see, God heard and he answered you from that day. Now what begins to happen step by step? Precept being upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. Everything culminates to the fulfillment of that prophecy. Now, when you see the final part and say, wow, do you know God told me this thing five years ago? It has come to pass. Oh God, you are so, five years, you didn't forget. No, he has been working on it all these years, praise God. He was mindful of what he told you and he started the process since. But you didn't understand. You didn't understand that you had to go, you know, you know, sometimes, you know, I, I say this, like, God is the one that can tell you, son, next year you're going to wherever. Let's you know, think of somewhere good, you know, a, a good city. Maybe you stay in somewhere not so good, maybe good, but not so good. And then the word of the Lord comes to you and says, son, you're, you're, you're going abroad to a good place. See, and you're excited. Wow. God said, I'm going abroad, you know, I'm going to get a job, a good job, an international job. Wow, praise God, praise God. And then, while you're thinking of that and, and working on that, and then the word of the Lord comes and says, son, maybe this is getting to the end of the year, this year now. And then, but God has said, next year you're going. Say, oh. And then, end of this year, God says, son, pack your load and go to the village. Huh? No way. <laughs> no way. How? God, you said I'm going abroad. Why will you be telling me to move to my village? No, 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 no. Every voice that is taking me backward, I bind it. You begin to talk like that. But you know it's God that's speaking to you. And then you begin to look at yourself. Maybe I've done something wrong. Father, forgive me my iniquity. Oh, Father, what sin did you commit? You can't even tell. I must have done something. I must have offended God. Why is God changing his word? He didn't change his word. He only said go to the village. But why would God be telling me to go to the village when he has already told me that I'll be going abroad? I will tell you why. Because the door to the abroad is in your village. <laughs> See, how? See, you don't know the ways of God. See? Now, that's why God requires faith from us at all times. Now, what is the faith? How do you demonstrate that faith? You, you, you examine what God has said. Well, God said I'll be going abroad next year yeah but now he's telling me to pack all my things and move to the village he didn't say visit the village he said pack all your things and move to the village so how does that correlate with going abroad next year why should i be going abroad next year? i'm supposed to be in the city where i can attend interviews i can attend why is he telling me to go to the village then you now reason it that see his ways are not our ways so for him to tell me to go to the village it just means that there is something in the village that is going to link me to the abroad that he's spoken of. Yeah. You don't wake up and start telling yourself, ah, hmm, when may God have changed his mind? Who am I to question him? He says, go to the village. I will go to the village. That way I want to. Now, you are speaking out of unbelief. See? 
You know, for example, you're a lady and you're praying to God for a good husband, a wonderful husband. And you say, Father, I, I want a husband that have at least two cars. I want a husband that has a perfect job. I want a husband that will be taking me on vacation every year. Not, not, not that I'm asking too much. Lord, you know I'm not vain. You know how you can. You know yourself. You know, you know you, Lord, you know that I'm vain. Lord, you know I just, I just, I've served you enough now. I think I should enjoy more. And while you're praying, one day the word of Lord comes to you and says, Daughter, I have heard thee. And I will do everything that you have said. Praise God! You share the testimony. Say, brethren, God spoke to me. He told me that my request concerning a husband, he has granted this. I know. Listen, you know, the only request I asked, I told God I wanted a husband that has money that will be taking. Amen, amen, amen. Now, someone walks up to you and says, hey, sister, I've been praying about this issue. And I'm convinced in my heart that God wants me to be your husband. All right, huh? And then you look at the person, he doesn't even have a car. And then you ask him, ah, have you left this city before? Say, no, I've never left this city. Do you have plans to leave this city before? <laughs> well, I don't know yet. Let's see what the Lord will do. <laughs> you begin to think, you say, lie, lie. This can never be. And then you now go and pray. You know, how, you know how the Spirit of God works? You go and pray. Say, Father, ah, no. And while you're praying, the Lord now open your eyes and you now see yourself in a dream having a wedding with this brother. Ah, no, Father, I rebuke. Oh, fa Father, remember what you promised me. And then he starts saying, Oh, Lord, remember what you said to me. I bind this brother. I bind this brother. No, he, he, he cannot come and distract me. Lord, I'm waiting for that one. God says, Daughter, that is your husband. Hey. And then when you now finally accept it, because you have to do the will of God. And then you now look at the brother and say, Chai! What did I do to God now? This one that cannot even take me to Lagos. Maybe in Nigeria. So can I another city? Is it this one that will be taking me abroad every year? Hey, Father. 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 Now, you have accepted the will of God based on that prophecy. But you see, you were doing it in unbelief. As a smart child of God, what should you do? Lord, you're sure this is the husband you want me to marry? Say yes. That's the husband I'm giving to you. Now you go look at all those prophecies again. And you remember the day God said, all those things you prayed about. And you remember the day God spoke to you in prophecy. I said, I have given you all that you asked for. And then you look at this brother again. And then you tell yourself, all right. So this is the brother that is going to fulfill all these prophecies with me. This is the brother that is going to be taking our family abroad every year for vacation. This is the brother that is going to do this. This is the brother that is going to do this. It may, he may not look like it now. But the one who told you your request have been granted is the same one who is telling you this is he. And you remember the scripture that said, yes, I know. The word of God said, he that finds a wife finds a good thing. And then you look at that brother and said, bro, you better open your mind because you found a good thing. You know what's going to happen? We're going to be going on vacation every year. And I'm looking at you and saying, hey, uh, please, uh, go and consider very well. Uh, are you sure? He said, yeah. Yeah. God told me so. And he told me, you are my husband. Okay. I, I'm telling you the truth. Every one of those prophecies will get fulfilled before your eyes. Because it's not how we think. That person that has nothing today, you don't know the deposit that God has released inside of him. Now, it will take you, his contact with you, for those things to be realized. Now, this is how it works. But you get the story. You heard God say, this is he. Not one guy walked up to you and said, Kai, my biological clock is ticking. I think I should just accept this brother. To hell with all those things. So those expectations. Father, you know I'll just be in. You know now. But see, husband, I've come. No, I'm talking about when God clearly. You see, you must take every matter to the Lord. And let his word specifically come to you. And say, what if God doesn't speak to me? Unbelief. Why are you walking in unbelief? What if he speaks to you? Or he speaks, and if you are his child, you know what he said? My sheep hears my voice. If you are his child, you will hear his voice, for he will surely speak to you. Don't be afraid to take every proposal to the Lord. Don't be afraid to take every appointment that is being given to you to the Lord. Lord, should I take it or not? 
and be mindful of the prophecies that he has given you. Praise God. Our time is up. Listen, the Spirit of God is guiding your steps today. You will fulfill prophecies in Jesus' name. Amen.